basically what we're going to do is using the selection tool how to remove a background pretty straightforward now what I've done here I've got this, the image up I've duplicated the image I'll just do this again uh, I've got the image up uh, right click the background duplicate layer and OK now the background one you just unclick it there a little eye on the left so basically what happens uh, with the layer that we're working on at the moment all we have to do is just select around it on the top left here on the toolbox we've got these little usually selected by default now you can just click the background but see what happens it picks up all the other grey parts which are very similar to the colour on the background hit the square button stop that go back to the magic wand button hold it down quick selection tool that's what we want get that one so it's like a little box now just run along the, the edge of the image that you want to be cropped and it does this automatically it's awesome it's really really good and you can let, let, let stop clicking and click again click 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 like this go right around and it's just going to select all the white basically that whole entire hand so as you can see on the left here and the right up here hasn't collected, selected everything quite in detail um, you can go into the select tool again you can right click it and you can go into other alternatives to uh, sample it so you can really get in there and change it and get some more areas so anyway basically what we're going to do the select tool like that we're going to go uh, on the Mac it's command and X so we've cut it out okay so we get command V which is paste and there it is so what we do with the original layer that had the photo we can delete that now and then select the layer that we've got that's pasted and there we have it so what you can do go back to the other layer select the new layer the fill tool and fill it with whatever color you want really so we're going to fill it with the red color and fill the background so that's different that's how you get a background now if you want to, a lot of people like the idea of doing this with um, YouTube thumbs, put a white, white um, outline around the image. The way to do that, you go to layers, and you go to layer style, and you go right down to stroke. Now by default the stroke will come up a little with a box like that, see what's happened there. So the colour was on the bottom right here on the right hand side. You click on the colour, change it to a white hit OK and there's your background now to make there's your stroke your outline now to make it thicker you can go in size with the little slider here or just type in a number and it makes it thicker that's how they do it with thumbnails a lot of thumbnails that you see on YouTube that's what they do but anyway guys that's how you remove the background